Senator Marcus Scribonius Drusus Liba was great grandson of Pompey, uh, son of Pompey, daughter of uh, Sextus Pompeius, and nephew of Scribonia, a wife of Augustus. In uh, 16 uh, AD, uh, he was praetor. That year, he was suspected of uh, organizing coup d'etat and uh, committed suicide. But uh, nevertheless, uh, he was trialed and found guilty. The main question of uh, scholars in relation to this event is uh, how dangerous Liber was to Tiberius or uh, he was just a harmless victim uh, of a hypocritical regime. But this uh, presentation, this presentation uh, is an attempt to look at the matter under a bit different angle. The main task will be to compare the versions of the event in Tacitus and uh, Cassius Dio's works and uh, to reveal uh, the peculiarities of uh, their narratives. Both authors are considered to be uh, the representatives of Roman senatorial historiography of different epochs. Therefore, uh, the specifics of uh, their account might be useful to comprehend the evolution, if any, of uh, the senatorial perception of such trials within uh, the times of uh, Principate, though I understand very well that uh, two sources uh, are not enough to talk about uh, trends. We start uh, from uh, a later version, uh, the version of Cassius Dio, uh, who narrates uh, the following. So long as uh, this man was well, uh, Tiberius did not bring him uh, to trial, but uh, when he became sick and to death, uh, he caused him to be brought into the Senate in a covered litter, such as uh, the wives of uh, senators use. Then, when uh, there was a slight delay and Liba committed suicide before his trial could come off, he passed judgment upon him after his death uh, gave uh, his money to his accusers and uh, caused sacrifices to be offered uh, to commemorate uh, the man's uh, death not only his own, uh, his own account but also on that of uh, Augustus and uh, of the latter's father uh, Julius as had been uh, decreed in past times. Tacitus uh, also reports about the case of Dio in uh, his annals, and his story has a number of components uh, that coincide with Dio's version, uh, namely the disease, uh, the stretcher on which uh, Libra is uh, carried uh, in the Curia, suicide of the defendant, uh, the continuation of the trial and uh, the convi uh, conviction at the time when Liba was already dead and uh, the division of property between uh, prosecutors. But despite uh, such a similarity of compositional components, the versions of Tacitus and uh, Dia appear to be absolutely different. And uh, the reason for this is not only the length of uh, Tacitus' narrative, which is much more extensive than Dia's brief account, but uh, <coughs> interpretations that uh, appear to be absolutely different. So Tacitus uh, brings uh, readers' attention uh, to the role of senators in uh, this trial. The first detail he mentions, uh, the charge was fabricated by uh, Senator Firmius Catus in his uh, private initiative. Uh, then uh, other uh, delators appear on the stage. One of them is uh, Fulcinius Trio, who demanded uh, an inquiry before the Senate. And there are other uh, remarkable details in uh, Tacitus' reports, uh, namely uh, the gradually increasing number of accusers, 
and uh, the uh, rivalry between uh, Fontius Agrippa and Gaius, uh, Gaius uh, Vibius uh, over the uh, privilege of conducting the case uh, for the prosecution. Motives of these people are obvious. According to Tacitus, uh, the property of Liba was divided among uh, his accusers and praetorship out of uh, the usual order were uh, conferred on those who were uh, of sen uh, senatorial rank. As for Cassius Dea, uh, he mentions uh, the accusers only as recipients of shares in Liba's property that they receive uh, from Tiberius. Tiberius uh, is the main actor uh, of the story according to Dio and is entirely responsible for the trial. <clears throat> according to Dio, uh, it was Tiberius who brought Liba to trial. Tiberius ordered to deliver the young man to Senate uh, when the latter was uh, ill. Tiberius convicted him uh, when he was already dead, divided his property, and uh, caused sacrifices, uh, sacrifices to be offered to commemorate uh, the man's death. Tacitus uh, depicts uh, the role of Tiberius in a different way. According to him, uh, Tiberius from the very beginning had buried his anger far too deep to explore all uh, of the circumstances. Uh, Tacitus leaves unclear uh, whether uh, Tiberius had learned about the Ill illness of Liba before his delivery to Senate or not. Moreover, uh, he admits that uh, Liba's sickness was uh, counterfeited, uh, while uh, the main stress is lay uh, laid on uh, self-restraint uh, of Tiberius and his uh, intention to seem uh, impartial. On the other hand, uh, Tacitus mentions uh, the decision of Tiberius to question some slaves under torture and, um, here I quote, uh, uh, since uh, an old decree prohibited the examination in the church uh, affecting the life of their master, uh, Tiberius, uh, applying uh, his talents uh, to discovery of a new jurisprudence, ordered uh, them to be sold individually uh, to the uh, treasury agent, uh, all uh, to procure uh, survival uh, evidence against uh, Libo without uh, overriding a senatorial decree. But uh, the emperor, according to Tacitus, does it only after learning about the paper containing a set of uh, marks, uh, sinister uh, or at least uh, mysterious appended by Liba's hand uh, to the names of the imperial family and a number of uh, senators. Uh, <clears throat> at the same time, the defendant uh, denied uh, the allegation. Consequently, uh, Tacitus, uh, though mentioning uh, Tiberius' talents uh, to discovery of new uh, jurisprudence, uh, nevertheless recognizes uh, that uh, the emperor <coughs> had reasons to investigate the case of Liba uh, with uh, exceptional care. Uh, there is one more difference between uh, Dio and uh, Tacitus. In Tacitus' uh, point of view, uh, the senators, not uh, Tiberius, were the initiators of a number of resolutions of the Senate, uh, including uh, Damnatio Memoria, uh, in which uh, Tacitus sees the uh, manifestation of uh, servility. So uh, this uh, is actually um, the quotation. But Dia is not uh, preoccupied with such details. He is not concerned uh, with uh, the personalities of uh, initiators of various regulations after the trial. Uh, more precisely, there is no question of any uh, initiative from uh, senators. Uh, Dio's warden is Tiberius caused uh, sacrifices to be offered to commemorate uh, the, man's, the man's death. Uh, such a contrast uh, with Tacitus' version 
underlines uh, the difference in the capabil capabilities of uh, Roman Senate uh, of respectively of the first and uh, the third centuries and the domino at least in uh, perception of the authors. Uh, and at least in this very case, uh, case Dio excludes uh, senators from uh, decision making. Uh, and it looks like uh, Dio uh, needed uh, the story to illustrate uh, the typical feature of uh, Tiberius' character and its influence on the course of events. So uh, this is uh, how he does it um, after uh, telling the story about Libo. So uh, it should be noted that uh, the case of Libo is mentioned among other examples of inconsistency and duplicity of um, Tiberius. It all means that uh, Dio primarily uh, formed a general, uh, generalized conception of the facts and then gave account uh, of the facts according to uh, this basic explanatory model. And he himself described such a uh, method uh, in book uh, uh, 46. And uh, in this respect, uh, Dio was unlikely to misinterpret the evidence of uh, sources deliberately as well as in other numerous cases of applying almost one and the same explanatory model to tensions between sen senators and emperors. Uh, employing uh, well-known well -known facts, uh, he selects data and highlights keys uh, on his own way to create thereby his own images of the past. Tacitus' version is uh, more extensive but does it mean uh, that uh, it is free from bias and written according to the author's uh, famous declaration, uh, Sine Ira et Studia? Uh, we see that uh, in two passages, uh, one in the beginning and uh, another in the end of the story, uh, Tacitus betrays his intention to employ the case in uh, demonstrative purposes. Consequently, uh, in this respect, he does not differ much from Dio because he follows a prearranged conception too. In fact, uh, the prime concern of both historians is not uh, whether Libby committed a crime or not, but how he fell as a victim of the regime and was punished after his death. Such a shift in the point by Tacitus and Dio looks symbolic in terms of uh, solidarity of uh, senatorial historiography, but focusing uh, on the participation of senators in the lawsuit, Tacitus is preoccupied mostly with uh, the ethical dimension of relations between the emperor and senators, while uh, Dio is preoccupied with the problem of physical survival of uh, the senatorial elite, uh, which was a real hot issue for an eyewitness of Commodus' reign and so-called purchase of the Senate uh, by the Severance. And thanks for your attention.